A lot of people ask me what to do when you have a narcissistic boss. And there's a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, avoid one-on-ones as often as possible. I mean, I know that sometimes you're gonna have to do a one-on-one anyway, but what you should do after the one-on-one is you, you follow it up with an email that, that just summarizes the things you talked about. That way they can never go back and say, hey, this person said that, or they said this, or no, I didn't say that, um, or, or whatever, right? So, so always follow it up with like a bullet pointed email that says, hey, just you, you were being a good listener, that you know, this is my understanding from our meeting that these are the main points, right? Because you wanna keep a paper trail, so that way they can't get you in a bind of what you said or didn't say or, or that they told you, you need to do something and then it didn't get done, right? Um, the other thing about dealing with narcissists in general, but especially a narcissistic boss, is when they try to put you on the spot in front of other people. Don't explain. When you're explaining, you're losing. So what you wanna do is ask a question, be curious, have a real tone of curiosity and just get them to explain themselves. So say they put you on the spot and say, hey, you know, you did this thing wrong in front of a group of people. You just say, well, how do you mean exactly? You know, get, get them to explain. Ask this how or what question that is gonna have them having to explain themselves. And when you do that often enough and they realize that you're just gonna be this really good, curious listener in front of other people, they're gonna stop trying to put you on the spot.